foul cholera. Let's look at these key points. One, foul cholera is caused by bacteria. Two, it could cause acute morbidity and mortality. Three, it is best prevented using biosecurity, vaccination, and antibiotics. Four, it it's infects chickens, turkeys, and other types of birds. Five, transporters such as rats, dogs, cats, and other mammals are the major sources of foul cholera. So let's go into the foul cholera. So just as we have already said in the video, this disease is caused by bacteria and it infects chickens, turkeys, waterfowls and other types of birds. Again, turkeys and waterfowls are more susceptible to this disease than chickens. However, older chickens are also more susceptible to the disease than younger chickens. So, there are two types of this disease. We have the chronic type, which stays longer, and some animals or so, some infected birds are able to withstand and become carriers. Then we have the acute type, which normally increases the mortality rate and also the morbidity rate. Now let's look at the sources. Cats, dogs, wild birds, rodents, all these animals are carriers. There hasn't been any clinical sign of these animals being reservoirs. Rather, they are seen as carriers, including you, the farmer. You can carry this bacteria along to the farm. Now, the bacteria could stay in dead carcass, that is the, the dead body of a bed. It could stay in the droppings. It could stay in the soil. So you could realize that there are several ways that these, um, this bacteria could actually hide itself. Signs and symptoms. Clinical findings from foul cholera vary greatly depending on the cause of disease. In acute foul cholera, Finding a large number of dead birds without previous sign is usually the first indication of this disease. You could have so many of your birds dying without any previous indication that these birds were sick. Mortality normally increases rapidly. You could also have depression, that is your birds could show some sign of depression. There could be mucoid discharge from the mouth, ruffled feathers, diarrhea, and increased um, respiratory rates are usually seen. So these are the signs and symptoms now let's look at how of to prevent foul cholera. foul cholera. How to prevent foul cholera. A good management practices of um, biosecurity, that is maintaining high level biosecurity on the farm, it's a sure way of preventing the bacteria from entering the farm. Two, you know, the, the bacteria can easily be killed with normal heat, normal dry, dryness, and also these normal um, disinfectants. So what it means is that from time to time, you need to disinfect your farm and also keep the farm clean. Again, you have to make sure that you prevent rodents, cats, dogs from accessing your farm. You have to make sure that these mammals do not have any direct contact at the farm or with the birds. And also you have to prevent wild birds from flying directly into the farm. Treatment. Let's look at how to treat fowl cholera. Now, because of how fast this bacteria could kill as many birds as possible within a given period, the best advice or the best treatment I can give you is to make sure that you prevent the bacteria from entering your farm. However, if you are not fortunate and you happen to have the disease on the farm, you could, first of all, administrate antibiotics. 
you can administrate antibiotics. Now, the antibiotics cannot totally eradicate, eradicate the disease or the bacteria. However, it could minimize the rate of mortality or it could reduce the number of birds that could die as a result of the disease. There are vaccinations for this disease, so you could vaccinate your birds against fowl cholera. And finally, you have to do what we call depopulation. If you want to eradicate the bacteria totally from the farm, you will have to depopulate. When I say depopulate, you have to make sure that you have totally cleared all birds out of the farm and you have disinfected the farm and have allowed the, the farm to stay idle for a number of weeks before repopulating your farm. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please pass comments, share the video, like the video, and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and bye-bye.